Hey, what's going on everybody? Matt with Lathrop Media. We're inside Inventor and we're going to talk about the quick and easy way to go about modeling, or I should say creating, threads. I say creating because we're not going to be modeling a bloody thing other than, you know, our original part for the sake of argument. Now, what I have is this, um, you know, rudimentary bolt that we're going to quote unquote say that I'm going to 3D print and I need some threads for it. So normally with Inventor, you have one of two options. You could either use the thread feature, which throws threads on there, or you can physically model your threads. There is a quicker and easier option, uh, as far as the modeling threads is concerned, called Cool Orange. Now I'll have the link in the description below of where to get this. This is actually on Autodesk's uh, site itself. You will need login credentials, same ones that are used with the forums, in order to download it. It's not a big deal. You create an account, you download it, you install it, done and over with. So we'll come up here, we'll uh, pick our normal thread, and we'll apply our thread to our fake bolt here. I'm gonna look over the, my specs. Yeah, quarter 20, that's what I want. We'll hit okay. Now we can come over here to the cool orange and click on thread model. Now, a lot of this, you never have to touch. So I'm just gonna jump right in. Uh, you have to pick the thread, but you can't pick it from your actual model. You have to come down here to the model tree and pick your thread. And then just kind of glance over this, uh, make sure it's copacetic. Um, your thread pitch is gonna be plus, you know, 0 0.10%, uh, which can be changed. But you have the selected thread, which is thread one in this case, the pitch 0 0.05 inches, standard thread type, exterior face. We'll hit okay. And the tool does all the hard work for you, as you can see. Now, this isn't for everything under the sun. This is basically, the only time I really use this, I actually use this for two different things. One, if I am in the process of uh, doing like 3D renders of something specific and I want it to look threaded, or if I have features that I want to show the threads, then I'll use this tool. The other time is when I'm making 3D part or 3D printed parts and I actually want a thread. Uh, whether it be SLS or SLA, uh, either way, I want a thread in there, so I will actually use this plugin. Internal threads are also possible. However, there is a step that has to be done. Uh, it depends on you know your personal or your company's uh, specifications or SOPs as far as modeling is concerned. Um, I'm not even going to get into that. But if you want to do internal threads. You cannot use the whole feature. I'll tell you that right now. You literally have to, well, I mean, you could use the whole feature, but you have to do more to it. Um, so for the sake of argument here, I'm just gonna uh, point two five, and I'm going to extrude cut this. Wish I had my space ball on me. I'll just do an extrude cut and then I'll, ah, wrong button. There we go. We'll come in here, do threads, uh, quarter 20, fine. Now we can come into cold, uh, cool orange and actually pick those threads and it'll model internal threads. Uh, basically all it's doing is a combination of a revolution and a coil, but it's doing it for you to where you don't have to worry about doing it. Um, there is a slight problem. Like I said, you can't really do a typical hole feature. So if I just come back a couple again I'll just drop my point in the center and do a hole and we'll say okay it's a tapped hole this is how I would normally do things yeah it's a tapped hole you yeah, know nothing fancy about it but if I go up to cool orange go to thread modeler I can't pick the thread in the window obviously we already talked about that I also can't pick it in the model tree because there's no actual thread feature in the model tree so just something to keep in mind if you want to go this route like i said it's not for everybody it's not you don't have to use it for everything it's just an option that's out there if you have any questions concerns comments feel free to drop them in the comment box below and until next time i'll catch you guys later